All right, let's go ahead and model filling out your plan. So starting in the first column, we're just going to go ahead and choose our standard courses. Again, I mentioned earlier that there's information that will pop up uh, when you select a particular course. First of all, the course description from the course catalog will be displayed. You'll also have an indication of the linkages between courses. So this is the selected course. There are no prerequisite or requirements to get into that course. And then you can see the course that is likely going to follow in future years. So we just click Add Course, and you can see it's now in your plan. So math, 8th uh, graders, you're likely in one of two situations, uh, or one of three, if you're currently planning to attend CAMSI, if you've been accepted into the Kalamazoo Area Math and Science Program, uh, that's where this is located here. If you have taken pre-algebra in 8th grade, then this is your likely selection. And then uh, for those of you who have taken Algebra 1, this is the course that you're looking for. Now, I noticed, I'm going to pop out of here in a second, that your 8th grade year is not showing up with any high school credit granting classes. It looks like we need to run an update for your grade history because I know some of you uh, are taking Algebra 1 in 8th grade and most all of you are taking a foreign language as well, which is a credit towards high school. So those should be showing up and that would influence your course plan over here in both math and world language as to which course you're going to take next in year in ninth grade. Uh, so let me just show you what to do in the meantime. Because it doesn't recognize that you're taking Algebra 1 in eighth grade, um, it's expecting that this is the course you're going to choose. So again, you can see that you haven't uh, done, you're not required to take anything prior to that other than being in ninth grade, uh, unless you've taken it in eighth grade. So in this demo case, we're assuming that the student took pre-algebra in eighth grade, so selecting Algebra 1 would be the right thing to do. Now for those of you who have taken Algebra 1, um, there's a kind of a unique circumstance we'll need to work through. Normally, this would show up as uh, a credit earned in green right here, meeting the prerequisite so that you'd be free to take geometry. Go ahead and select it. Uh, doing so, though, you're going to see that it populates a, a red flag here because it doesn't recognize that you've taken Algebra 1, so it's assuming you don't have the proper prerequisite fulfilled to take that class. If you're in that situation though, for those of you who are in Algebra 1 right now, go ahead and select Geometry. Now, in the other instance though, if you should be in Algebra 1 next year, then we can update that plan right here. And you can see that there's no red flag that will prevent you from submitting. So we're going to go ahead and select the ninth grade social studies course, world history, the science class, and you can see again based on the guidance here that uh, the recommended course is ninth, in ninth grade is physical science. Go ahead and add that to the plan. This was a unique one. Uh, in ninth grade, PE and health are taken together. They're each half credit classes you take one one semester and the other the second semester. So by selecting either one, you're going to find that these two half credit classes are tied together. And so if we select PE, it'll give you this note. The course is to be taken along with health. So if we add that, you'll notice something unique happens. We, we see it show up twice. Well, that's because one of these is health and the other is physical education or PE. Uh, because they're co-requisites, it's already set up so that if you add either one, the other one will show up in your plan, and you have one full credit between the, the two of them. Now we're back to a problem scenario here, but we can get past it. Um, I know you're probably taking Spanish 1 or an online foreign language class in 8th grade, um, but your grade history doesn't appear to be up to date, so it's expecting that you're going to choose this for ninth grade. Um, 
whereas you might be taking your second credit online or you might be taking Spanish 2 next year. And if that's the case, I'm going to again recommend go ahead and click on Spanish 2 if you're expecting to have completed Spanish 1 this year in 8th grade and add it to your plan. This red flag will pop back up, which technically anytime you don't meet a prerequisite and you've chosen a class that requires it, that's a red flag that's going to stop you from submitting your plan. But the advisors behind the scenes here, we can override that. So go ahead and set up the plan the way you need it to be, and we can work out those details. All right, we're down to our elective. So we're going to go ahead and select a class to fulfill our elective. And let me show you a couple of different scenarios. So maybe you want to take art. Uh, you'll locate that in Fine and Performing Arts. There's the art class and you can add it. Now, there is another scenario here though. I'm going to delete this one. And perhaps you're planning on taking the seminar course, which you can find under miscellaneous. The seminar course can provide you that extra time to work on your study habits and get help with homework and, and so forth. Uh, when you do that though, Notice that it, it populates another elective course down here, and that's because Seminar doesn't offer credit toward graduation. There's a zero indicated right there. And you need seven credits for it to recognize that you've filled all seven periods in your day, uh, having a full schedule before you can submit. But again, knowing that Seminar will take up one of those seven periods, if that is your plan, don't worry about this. Again, you won't be able to submit, but we can override that on the advising side. There's another scenario I want to point out, though. It requires you to select an alternate. So if you can't fit an elective into your schedule, uh, we require at least one alternate to be in your plan each year so we know what's your backup plan, what other course would you like. So maybe this is where you, you're saying, if I can't get into seminar, I want to take that art class. And so we'll pop that, populate that just by selecting it in the alternate line. And there it is, there's the art class showing up underneath seminar. And normally we would hit submit if we had seven credits down here and no red flags, we'd be able to hit submit. Um, but if you have your plan complete, go ahead and leave it as is. It saves automatically.